Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fell here. Welcome back to a Crusader's Quest. Today we are gonna level up Lucy. Lucy? Lucy? The one that we got last pulled. So, yeah. We'll have a look what sort of skill she's got. And you guys know the drill, of course. We are gonna feed her some bread before we send her to the combat. Max her out, and we shall fight what I th feels like the Valkyrie of the Crusaders' quests. So we'll obviously get her. We'll use Cecilia, the fighting nun, and the magical botanist Lene, because I never get to use her much since I got her from last pool. So yeah, we shall have a look how they go. To the King of Storms we go. So Lene is actually really good for healing and lifestyle guys. Because she summons the flowers where the leader is. So it's always where the leader is, which is where your team is gonna be most of the time. And I've just got the goddess of the forest. And of course our boy that we have leveled up the archer support hero or champion so yeah easy peasy for the fighting nun so even with the debuff that she gets when she activates her skill yeah our healer is just too good the botanist is just too strong and of course they got us to four star and she is in the orchard at the moment so we have to harvest all of our berries and now we can promote her from luchi to luchi the devil okay so she is part of the devil group luchi the devil five star okay and she can learn new skills we'll have a look at her skill a little bit later when she's six stars so we'll just feed her more bread, max her out, and of course, we're gonna keep on fighting, keep on gaining experience. So where we're going this time, we are going to 1F, the front desk. Hey, oh, okay. So we'll be fighting little dudes this time with shield, like a riot. Uh, control unit from the road industry so yeah she's actually doing really well with the life steal and our goddess as well so she's staying alive for now as a level one of course so yeah that champion is actually really good guys I don't barely used them before but now I yeah it's one of my favorites and that should get us to maximum level 50 there you go easy PC and of course we can evolve her one last time so she becomes the Luchi the guardian of hell oh so we, she got promoted to being the guardian very cool Alright, let's have a look at that passive, see what we get. Alright, with every second hit they receive, the hero activates Knight in Shining Armor for 8 seconds. Okay. Cool down 3 seconds, okay. Knight in Shining Armor, the hero's armor is increased by 900, and the hero receives 50% less damage, okay. During Knight in Shining Armor, the hero receives all the damage targeted at the entire team. Cannot be cancelled. Oh, okay, so she's got like the um, Alexander skill where she takes all the damage. So she is built like a tank. So if you need someone to absorb all the damage, she is your woman. And I'm just gonna get this healing skill for her. I didn't get a great there, but it's fine. And we'll feed her this legendary macaroon because I've got too many of them. 
And let's go to 23F, conference room number two. And we actually found Popo this time. And of course, our DPS, Cecilia, is still just, yeah, demolishing all these robot dudes. It uh, reminds me of um, Dr. Octopus from Spider Man, maybe? And a Pandemonium is the final boss here. The white rubber dudes. Alright. And that was. Yeah, that was actually pretty easy. Well done, Cecilia. She didn't even die. And of course, after much, much RNG, I was able to get her Soulbound weapon from Inquisitor Spear. Spear protection to sanctuary. So it is a spear or lance. Looks like looks more like a lance. Thank you, Fergus, for your hard work. Oh, come some So I'm just gonna give it to her and level it up with whatever we've got for now. So I'll have a look at the passive because usually the um, soulbound weapon adds more passive or basically, you know, increases uh, your passive or makes it stronger, I should say. Now she is a tank so I'll probably change the uh, upgrade option of this later on because I don't really need attack, I need defense, probably defense, defense. Maybe more of the um, damage reduction would be ideal for her. But yeah, that'll do for now. And yeah, let's have a look. Oh wow, passive added. Upon using allies to chain, the hero throws a spear of judgment to the nearest enemy to deal physical damage equal to 2,000% of the hero's attack power. Ooh! And increase their own armor and movement speed by 50% 5 seconds. Cannot be cancelled. Cool time. 5 seconds. Okay. And there's more. Passive added. Okay. During the Sphere of Judgment, the hero becomes immune to 12 hits of physical damage for 5 seconds. Passive added. More? The Sphere of Judgment does not disappear for 5 seconds after it hits the ground. If the hero is within the range of the Spear of Judgment for a duration, all allies and enemies within its range, including the hero, receives 50% more magical damage. Cannot be cancelled. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's like a double-edged sword. So everyone receives 50% more magical damage while the, uh, the spear is on the ground. And oh wow, okay, very nice illustration. Mm, very cool indeed. Right, let's go have a look how that works. So when she throws the spear on the ground, everyone receives more magical damage. It doesn't matter who it is, everyone just. Woo. So yeah, let's fight the raging machine. So she goes forward. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. It's the golden ones. Massive golden um, spear. Okay. Of course, there is a cooldown to it, guys. So, yeah. If there was no cooldown, that would have been... Whoop. But that's actually still pretty cool animation. You got three spears just coming down from heaven. Boosts. And she takes more magical damage. Well, everybody does. Wow. That's actually really cool. That weapons animation is actually quite nice. And her character design is actually quite nice too. I don't mind her. Looks very cool. And of course, we will give her a uh, skin later on. I'll just remove the skin for now so that we can see what she looks like normally. So yeah, overall, guys, she is viable as a tank. It's just the cooldowns, I think. Is holding her a little bit because yeah if you get caught while her passive is in cooldown then yeah your units will 
get wiped, unfortunately. I'll try and level her up a bit more later on and see if she can be used for any of the challenge uh, stages in the later one anyway. To do one more run guys and yeah thank you all so much for watching captains hopefully you guys are having fun thank you so much for the uh, subscription and the unyielding support as always and yeah in the next few updates should we should get some really really good stuff the new story and revamps of the bunch of heroes there's still no news for any of the collab guys, so yeah, I guess just save up your gems for now and hopefully we'll get some news sometime soon. But yeah, good luck out there captains, I shall see you all in the next video. Stay safe captains, bye bye.